Now, before we get into studio mode, the way I'm going to be navigating the Phantom G is with a USB mouse. And the USB mouse operates the way a mouse would operate on your computer when it's connected to the Phantom G. You have a left button and then a right button and then your scroll wheel changes the values of parameters that you land on in the Phantom G and select. Okay? So, let's get into the studio mode in greater depth. Now, as I mentioned previously, what the studio mode encompasses are the different mixers or mixing desks that do the different types of recording functions that are available in the Phantom G. So, what first opens up is a mixing desk for the internal sounds in the Phantom G. If we click at the top of the display where it says audio track, we'll now get the audio track mixer, which is a 24 channel mixing desk specifically for the 24 tracks of recording that are in the Phantom G. And in the mixers are individual channel strips, just like what you'd expect on any mixer in any studio. And each channel strip has its own volume, pan, effect sends, mute switches, and more functions. To click on the internal sounds, which we first saw, we click on internal at the top of the display. The next tab is EXP1, which stands for the first ARX slot. And if you have one of the ARX plugin boards installed, then you have a channel strip specifically for that plugin. In this case, I have the ARX01 drum card installed. And if you have a plugin installed in your second ARX slot, you have a channel strip for that. And I have the ARX02 electric piano card installed. And then finally, the last mixer in the Phantom G is specific for external devices that you want to control while in the studio, such as external sound modules or soft sensing computers. So let's go back to the internal mixer and let's talk about how to set up a studio setup for a new song project. If you want to set up your own studio session or start your own studio session from the top, simply go to Bank, choose Preset, and change that to User. Click on the box next to that and scroll through until you come to an empty or a new studio session. It'll be labeled Init Studio Set. And each channel of the mixer will be flat. In other words, there won't be anything assigned to it. All the faders, pans, and sends will all be set to, to a null point, to zero. To assign a sound to a channel on the mixer, simply select that channel. Here I'll go to Channel 2 and I'll assign a bass sound. So click on F1 Patch List. I can hold down F2 Category Down or F1 Category Up to scroll through my categories. And I'm going to choose Synth Bass and I'm going to choose a Synth Bass Sound and press F8 se Select. And now I have this kind of Synth Bass Sound selected. If I want to assign some drums that say now to part number 10, click on part number 10, press F on patch list, and my different rhythm kits will appear. You can use the scroll bar to the right to scroll through the different kits, and then select a specific drum kit. In this case, I'll choose 80s Digital Drum 1, and press F8 select. And now I have this drum kit. When we're ready to sequence, or we're, when we're ready to start laying down our different parts, all I have to do is click on the shortcut menu here at the upper right hand corner of the display and choose Song Play Edit. Press F8 Select and that opens up our song recorder. I can also do that by pressing the dedicated song button to the left of the display. And now I'm ready to set up the Phantom G song recorder for a new song session. To do that I press F8 Song List. My different song lists, my different songs appear. To start a new song select a init song, press F8 load, and now the Phantom G's song recorder gives us a blank slate and we're ready to start recording our different parts. Now to select a part that I want to record all I have to do is go to 
my studio session and choose a part that I want to record on that track. In this case, I'll choose my drums, part 10, go to song play edit, go back to song, and to lay down my drums, click on the record icon, choose how long of a count in I want, do I want a loop, how long do I want the loop to be, do I want any quantizing, and then press F8 to begin recording. If I want to rehearse, press F7 Rehearsal to find my sound. And when I'm finished, press Stop and then confirm that I want to save that take. And press Play. Now if I want, I can lay down the same, I can lay down a different part and record it on the same track, or I can record it onto another track. Now if I want to keep my tracks organized, if I want to name my track, I can go to Song Utility, go to Track Name, and name that track. I can do it easily by selecting the keyboard icon and simply typing in the name, Drums and OK, and that names the track. So if my next track, if I want that to be bass, let's name that track. And we'll name that bass. And we'll go back to Studio. And notice we have the drum selected. Now let's select the bass sound that we selected. And we'll go back to our song recorder. And now we're ready to lay down a bass part on part number one. So click on record. Choose rewind to the top and press play to begin recording. Press stop, and OK to confirm that you like the take. So in the next video that I'll do, I'll start getting into the Phantom G's audio mini recorder in more detail as far as how we can put together tracks and then start editing our audio and our MIDI. Hope this was helpful, and stay tuned to this channel for more upcoming videos. Thanks.